Dramatic Dialogue from Grace Baptist Christian School in Tisman, Georgia. My name is Nathan Rogers. And my name is Zach Norman. And the title of our Dramatic Dialogue is God's Chisel by Eddie James and Tommy Woodward. <laughs> Ephesians 2.10 says that we are God's workmanship. In essence, His masterpiece. Now, I don't know about you, but when I get up in the morning and look into the mirror, I don't see a masterpiece. Maybe a Picasso. But I want to be a masterpiece. I want to be everything God has created me to be. And so I go to him and say, God, do whatever it takes to get things out of my life that don't need to be there. Mold me into the image of your son so that I can be your masterpiece. Hi. Whoa. Who are you? I'm God. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You said the prayer, so here I am. That's how it works. Okay. If you're God... Then make it snow in here. If I make it snow in here, then it would get kind of yucky. And I really don't want to do that. See? You're not God. Why do you say that? God wouldn't say yucky. Yes, I do. It's a Greek word. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if, you're God, if you're God, then then what does Lamentations 15 9 say? Lamentations is a really short book. It only has five chapters. Why is it so short? I was tired of lamenting. Oh. <laughs> if you're God, then who's going to win the World Series this year? You know what? I'm not so much in playing games. Why are you so much in playing games? You are? What gave it away? You answered my question with a question. I did? <laughs> okay, step right in. Hey, hey, what's this about? These are the tools I'm going to use to make you my original masterpiece. Oh, okay. Hang on. Yeah. That's my son. Step right in. Oh, here we go. Whoa, whoa, hang on. How do you know what to choose on what to leave? I take all the things out of your life that aren't me. Kind of like dead weight. Speaking of that, could you just just ride in here? <laughs> <laughs> I worked out. I watched my age. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again 
and expecting different results. Mm -hmm. And there are things you've been doing, even back in high school, that do not work for you. But you go to these empty wells whenever you're hurting or angry or lonely and tired, but they do not work. Okay, I'm thinking that maybe your thoughts are not my thoughts. But if we went another way, your ways are not my ways. Okay, look, I can't be good. You can't be good. I've made you good. Be good. What? No. You wouldn't understand. Ah, the God of the universe wouldn't understand something that one of my children has to say. Try. It's just God. I've let you down so much. You were never holding me up. I hold you up with my victorious righteous right hand. Amen. Don't you forget that. In this relationship, I hold you up. Amen. Okay. Okay. Chisel away. Just be prepared for what you want to find in there. I know who's inside there. And because God, I get up every day and and I look into the mirror. And it's this scared little kid who tries to get up every day and act like an adult and dress like an adult, but can't. So just be prepared for what you're going to find out. You've listened to far too many voices for far too long than our game. You think you're junk, don't you? You really think you're junk. Listen to me. I don't make junk. What does that say about me? <clears throat> How can I show you that my love for you has no boundaries? I know. Reach in your back pocket. What? Reach in your back pocket. Are you arguing with me? Reach me back. God. Yes. <laughs> God, I'll do that right now. You were just saying my name is Beth. You know, it's just a name or say. It's more than a name. More than a say. It's more than a bad habit. It's a name above all names. I want to teach you something about my name. Reaching your back pocket. You know what this is? This is a page from a journal I had when I was younger. How'd you get this? Hello? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Read. I love Angie Hollow. The other side. Oh. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Dear God, today I'm turning everything over to you. I'm not going to hold on to anything anymore. Your word says that you were making your masterpiece. I don't see how that's possible. But I want that with all that I am. So please, God. Do whatever it takes to make me what you want. I love you, God. I love you too, Tom. I love you too much to leave you where you're at. So this salvation you hold, don't let it be some sentimental wish or some head knowledge. I want you to work out every detail of your life. And don't compare yourself to others because that's just trivial nonsense. You are my workmanship. You are my original masterpiece. And in you I find favor. This, don't look at this as a prison, but look at it as a father disciplining his child. Father disciplines the ones that he loves. I know. But it's going to be tough. Yes, it will be tough. But you bought into the lie thinking that everything would be easy once you said yes to me. That's not how it works. I want you to do something. I want you to look out there, and I want you to say that Tommy is God's original masterpiece. Tommy no, is... not the way you see yourself. Or the way you fear others see you, but the way I see you. Tommy is God's original masterpiece. Yes, you are. And so are you. God doesn't make jump. You are original masterpiece. Amen.